Okay, so now we're out in my truck. This is my 2019 Ram Limited. And what we're going to be doing is seeing how the purple, the royal purple fits in the seat. Fits all right. Gives you that nice area there where your leg can gap down. And you got that space there. You could even pull it up a little bit if you need to away, if you need to adjust. So I'm going to sit in there. I don't have my st camera stand out here with me though. So I'm going to have to try to go and to uh, flip the camera into selfie mode and see if we could take it, get a better look of how it is. Whoa, I'm definitely going to have to lower the chair because I feel a lot higher. It's actually not bad though. <laughs> that hi guys that's me all right so uh where do we see that it's under there somewhere there we go so let me try to get it right okay so that you can see it so the cushion over here it has not collapsed under my weight so i'm sitting down got all my weight on it it's actually not bad because right over here where my my legs meet and falling off the cushion over here they just hang right over and then I got the seat it's not bad it fits pretty good so we're gonna get out now and now I'm gonna take a look at the other cushion see how that one works once again that's how the, uh, the royal purple fits in my 2019 Ram pickup truck so you get an idea of how the seats look because a lot of people are asking about how it fits would it be good for a car it's definitely much higher good thing i can lower my seats if you don't have that ability well it's definitely going to put you up higher but i still have plenty of headroom here let me sit down in that again and put it in selfie mode so that you guys can take a look i'm going to flip this camera all right and again maybe i will hit my head on the roof uh i definitely got a couple of inches I'm five seven I got a couple of inches not much space here now above my head sitting on this so unless you can lower your seat you know I mean I can lower my seat a bunch a couple of inches so I'm not worried about it. this is this is not a problem but I did whack my head just now so probably would lower it a bit because I am if you look at my viewpoint now here I'll give you from my view to my my eye level um my eye level is definitely right here you see where that is Look at this. So I probably should not be at the top of the glass here. I should be probably down about here when I'm driving and not all the way up here. Okay, that's uh, it's a little bit, you know, you could be seeing more of the sky, you know? Um, but um, let me pull the cushion out from under my butt and see how far I drop, ready? Okay, so we dropped a couple inches and now we're in the middle. See that? Now we got all that room there. We're, uh, whereas, let's put it in selfie mode and you can see. Let me put this cushion on my lap. Sorry, guys. And now let's see how much height we have. Now we have a good, now we got a good four inches at least of space above my head and the roof where before it was just like just a little bit. So it definitely gave space and I did not adjust the seat, okay? So. Got the cushion here and just pulled it out from underneath me. That's the only difference that just happened right there. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab, I'm going to put this in the back and I'm going to go grab the, uh, uh, I'm going to go grab the purple, um, the ultimate purple, and then we're going to see how well that one fits, okay? So let's go take a look at that. Hold on. All right, so now we got this big mamma jamma that we're going to try to put here. Let me flip the camera. Okay, so now you can see, here's my seat. Make sure I got it facing the right way. The tag is gonna be in the front, so that handle is gonna be facing the other way. And, okay, and here's the back where it gives you that lumbar for your back. And it hangs over, it hangs over the sides of my seat. We wanna make sure it doesn't interfere with the seat belt though. So we can have access to that. Try to push it in here. If I push it back good, it does. It goes right up to the edge, 
almost we got maybe about an inch of seat here uh, so it does take that and it is much taller so I'm gonna watch my head getting in now all right so hang tight I gotta flip this over and let's see how this is gonna work out let me see me getting in here watch my head <laughs> again very comfortable I feel like I'm driving a tractor trailer now I'm so high up okay so once again it it actually feels about the same height you know but I was aware this time so I didn't smack my head into the into the roof because it's even it's even lower by the edge here you know and then it gets deeper inside so you gotta be careful you know when getting in lower the seat a bit so once again I am at a high eye level here Let's take a look, try to revert. So once again, here, let me put it at my eye level. If I put it at eye level, it is, yeah, it's a little bit higher even. Um, maybe I am closer to the roof here, uh, to the ceiling. So it definitely gives you a high up view. Uh, I will, oh, I feel like I'm reaching to touch the pedal. So look at that. So I feel like I'm really reaching down there to touch the pedals okay I feel like I'm driving a tractor trailer where my legs are almost at a 90 degree angle let's put this so it feels like my legs are almost at a 90 degree angle because I'm up so high right now see that before I was at least still drop like I was driving a car like this but now I'm sitting much higher so my legs are like this and I'm kind of stretching so I have to lower and probably put it a little bit closer to reach the pedals now where I could previously reach them fine. Um, I mean, I could reach them, but it doesn't feel so comfortable for driving though. And the gas, same thing for that. Uh, let's see the side view. Oh my God, ouch, just banged my head into, <laughs> into my visor. It's right here. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Gotta exercise a little bit. I got a little belly going on there. All right, so not too bad for 48. All right, so let's take a look. Let me get a different view here. Let's move my shorts so you can see how much cushion we got there. A lot more cushion. The cushion did, doesn't seem like it compressed as much either from me sitting on it. Uh, maybe it did. You can see my ass, my butt shrinkage sinking into the into it, uh, especially with that back lumbar. So I'm kind of sinking in. So it is very comfortable. So if you are a truck driver already, I don't know if your seats go down. Uh, because truck drivers, your seats are up there already as it is, you know. So I don't know how good this is going to be for you. Unless you could actually lower your seats or raise the pedals or, you know, because that's, uh, it's definitely going to lift you up a bit. Um, I could see it definitely be com comfortable for long drives. It's, it is not. I thought this was going to be catching my, the back of my leg, you know, where my knee bends. Uh, and it's almost there, but not quite. I'm five foot seven. If you're shorter, it may. You may find your leg just rubbing on the edge of this cushion. Um, I'm hanging over it just a little bit, so I'm not coming into that issue. So this is the review for the people who are wondering about how it is when you're in a car or in a truck. Now I'm in a truck, you know, a car seat may not be as big, so this is going to hang over a lot more. All right. Um, oh my God. Look at, look, look at this. My legs where the steering wheel is. Okay. I got to shimmy out. <laughs> now I'm not playing here. It's, it's, I got to squeeze past. I got to squeeze under the steering wheel in order to get out of there. So it definitely, it definitely raised how high I'm sitting in there, as you could see just by the steering uh, wheel uh, level there, okay? Now, I'm sorry, moving this camera around a bit here. So it definitely raised that height. Here, let me try to swim mode again so that you guys can see. So you can see there's not much there's not much height there between the steering wheel and the cushion. You get that out, there's plenty of height. Okay. Now you got 
all this room okay so it definitely does take the thickness doesn't make a difference <laughs> it feels very comfortable but it, it is very high so if you can't lower your seats you may have a problem and I hope that helps you guys out and answers all your questions if you have any more feel free to ask All right, I got one final amendment to this video. I grabbed the egg sitter, this, and I figured I'd throw that out here too. You can see it's uh, it's much smaller the way that it fits here in the chair. Okay, it does not stick up that high because it's thinner. Um, and when I get in, I found that it does give me support because if you look, it does not interfere with how your legs fit in there. So, I get in, just got to situate it right under your butt, feels good, feels good, feels comfortable, I feel a little bit higher up, but not extremely high, you know, I got about three inches, three and a, three, three and a half inches above my head, so it's, uh, I got plenty of room, it definitely did lift me up though. So it did definitely lift me up. Um, and here, let's take a look and see from my line of sight. This is my eye view. Let me see my eye level. I'm gonna put it straight out. I can see up. Okay, I'm not, I'm not all the way up here like this. Um, not even down here like this. This is my eye level. I wasn't even close to hitting my head. I wasn't even close to, oh, I gotta turn this around so my finger doesn't block camera view. So I wasn't even close to hitting my head on my way in. And I'm, I got plenty of level of view here. Uh, it does not obstruct my legs for getting in and out because it's not even anywhere near the steering wheel. And let me see, when I sit on it. Well, can't even see it under my under my fat ass but look it's there okay and I could feel it. it's it's comfortable it's comfortable and it's not bad um, this wouldn't be bad to recommend for driving around because it's not that big not that intrusive but 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 I'm not gonna be using it I'm driving around a almost $70,000 truck that has cooled seats so I like to put the cooling on the seat so that it cools off my my junk uh, when I'm driving on the hot days you know I put my ventilated seats on and I could feel it's a very slight breeze um, and even though it's got those holes in it let me see uh, let me put on my climate control my vented seats let's see if I could feel it well, it still goes through my back because it's not obstructing the back of the chair of the seat. But is it going through those passages up through the cushion? Because it's not a solid cushion. It's that, that's hollow in the center. But there is a cover on it. And I think that cover is kind of obstructing the coolness coming up through the seat so I'm gonna drive home with this today but uh, I'm not gonna keep it in my car I'm gonna use this egg sitter in my home office uh, and I'm gonna keep all the purples here for the long-term sitting and the, you know when you really need it in my in my workspace so I hope you like my review I hope it was thorough enough uh, any questions leave comments below and don't forget to like my channel all right follow me i got videos for all kinds of crap all right.